set up an inspection to come and make sure your topic meets the, the standards. And then from that, you know, you'll you know you'll initiate a lease with the veteran, and then you'll initiate a RFTA. So there's another rental agreement that's between you, Section Eight, and the veteran. Right, like your typical yeah. you know lease. Request for county approval. Yeah. Okay. It's, uh, it's, yeah, and so that will then specify how much rent the uh, Section Eight will pay, how much rent the vet will be responsible. For. Okay. It'll most likely be something that it'll probably need a little bit of work, you know, on the construction side of things. Yeah. Where can I find, like, you know, the the property standards? So it'll be the house authority in whose jurisdiction you're living under. Okay. So you're looking at doing Round Rock? Yeah, Round Rock. And also, how far is your jurisdiction? So, yeah, I, w- I would like just because it's in my vicinity, but I'm also looking, to, I'm thinking about, so that's good. And then possibly too. I know that's a, f- that's a pretty far area, but that, those are kind of like my three areas I'm looking at. Yeah, I was thinking, because I, I know they have the base down there and then they have the base. In, so I'm guessing it's, there's probably some demand in those two areas. That, that makes sense. So there's probably a, a big portion of them will probably make their way towards Austin. <laughs> right, right. And, so, yep. so like, and this is not an immediate thing. It's, you know, of course, there are the ones that get out and they just don't adjust, and that's a very small number. Right. Yeah, the big number of our veterans who have been chronically homeless for years and tend to be, you know, 40, 50, 60, 70. Okay. And as if, like, um, there's no like X dot, I don't need to get like an additional license or certification or anything like that, do I? No. So, are, so are you, this is like, what kind of properties are you looking at? Just single family? Single family. No. The only sort of thing that you'll need to get approved is the quality factors to make sure that, you know, you have the, it, it's a safe abode. Okay. Yeah, I remember going through the inspections. It was just pretty much basic stuff, but I remember they were specific right. about like the locks and little little things like that. Fire detector. Yep. Like yep. Okay. All right. One last question that I'll I'll let you get going. I know you're probably very busy. As far as like the uh, the vouchers, is that it's income based, right? Like so similar to um, yeah, section eight. Yeah. So uh, section has. Uh, what they consider to be like a below income level than that is set by HUD. And so a veteran has to fall below that income threshold. Okay. And so, but we take care of all of that on our end. We'll locate the, you know, we'll do outreach, find the veteran, look at their income, make sure they follow the income guidelines. So by the time they get to a prospective landlord, they already have a voucher in hand. It's just a matter of connecting them to the house. Very cool. 
All right. Awesome. Well, uh, I'll continue to do my research, continue to start, you know, I'm going to start looking for properties here soon and starting to put some marketing out there. I will be in touch. Is this the best way to reach you? Yes, sir. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time.